And welcome back to another episode of All of Fabric 5, where today uh, I'll be doing a bit of mining. A bit of mining in between episodes, uh, just so we can build up some resources and yeah, take a big mine all the way down from up at our little temporary mine setup up there, down to bedrock. And uh, yeah, we got a bit of stuff. We got a bit of stuff. Um, I'm probably really mostly keen on the ore. The different bits and pieces I've got here. We got some diamond ore here. Um, but there is a lot of stuff, like materials, that we might want at some point. Uh, so I've kind of been doing a bit of mining, dropping stuff up in chests, and then carrying on. So there is actually another chest um, up here a bit. Uh, just up here, and this was kind of an area where I did a did a bit of mining because it was all open. Um, and we got some more materials. We got some more materials here. We got some more materials there. We got some more materials and stuff in there. So that's cool. Now we have a face. Uh, so I think I'm going to go drop this back off at the base. Looks like we're probably going to want to get some better armor today. Um, we'll see how we go. I don't know how much of the stuff I can take with me. Uh, and I want to get some better ore processing going than uh, hitting stuff with a hammer. We're going to... Oh, it's night time. Yeah. We're going to look into, I think, a little bit torn between carrying on with modern industrialization, which does like steam powered stuff, uh, and then progresses to different tiers of electricity. Now, I think this uses like EU attack instead of, I don't even know what they call it in fabric, because uh, it used to be called like forge energy or RF. Do they say what this stuff does? Generates LF. Okay, LF attack. Now, I think LF possibly sort of transfers over to being similar to RF uh, and EU is kind of the, the other style of power you can have so not sure yet oh we got Tech Reborn which I think actually I think this uses EU as well no this does E for energy all right so we've got three different types of energy cool that'll be uh, fun to deal with <laughs> uh, but anyway Time to go and drop some of the stuff off at the base and uh, let's get into making some stuff. And we also got a present dropped off by uh, Striker. So he says this is for our dragon problem. We've got a saddle and some horse armor. So I don't know if you can just try and tame a dragon by just jumping on it like a horse. But that's an option, I think. I think, although we could now use the saddle on uh, a bird I tamed uh, when I was first testing out the pack on the server. So there's a bird flying around somewhere, a red one, um, and I have tamed it. So I could put a saddle on it and fly it around. And that would be kind of cool. Um, I'm just not sure where he has gone. And we got a waystone, which pretty handy, pretty handy. Uh, there is one just over there, so I probably won't set one up here. But maybe the mines would be good. Hmm. Something to think about. But, alright. We have a bunch of ore that we need to process. Uh, it's not all going to fit. Uh, in the one chest. Obviously, since we're using our drill with silk touch, we kind of get double ups on, like, deep slate lignite coal and regular lignite coal. And once we process that, it won't be... Uh, separate things and a little bit of materials plus some junk in the bundle which the bundle is very handy big fan of the bundle but all right let's dig into some tech um i think i think we're going to stick with the steam age i think diving into modern industrialization could be cool um it sort of goes all the way to really powerful armor, some quantum armor, juju matter and kind of making stuff from, from other things. We've got a fusion reactor, singularity, I don't even know what that does. A nuke. Um, a nuclear reactor, I mean that's probably going to be kind of cool. Yeah. 
And the quarry, I have seen the quarry mentioned. Uh, so this kind of, I think, I think, I think, I think, a quarry is pretty much power for ores. And that looks like probably some pretty rare ore that's hard to get, so. Interesting. Interesting. We'll have to see what this thing's like, but that's significantly in the future, in the future. Let's come all the way back to uh, Steam. And the first thing we need to do is get ourselves some bronze. We need 32 bronze. All right. Um, I'm pretty sure we can make bronze dust from copper dust and tin dust. Yep. All right. We have some bronze. Uh, and I can probably get rid of these furnaces for now. Uh, we've set up this contraption, uh, and it's going to be our pretty basic ore processing. Um, we can chuck extra fuel on the side here, and it should keep these stocked. And because this area is chunk loaded, uh, we can just put all our ready to be processed ores in there. So we've got quite a bit of bronze. Um, should be enough. Do we have any other dusts that that we can process? Uh, I mean, let's do some zinc. Let's do that tin. Salt, I don't think you... I think we process it like that. I think salt is kind of done. We can just check this up here. And we should eventually see it in here. Nice. Uh, we will be moving on to some better processing, hopefully soon. So, we got ourselves some bronze, we get an extra iron hammer and a steam bucket. Uh, a wrench, now we're probably going to want a wrench. Bronze plates, doesn't look too bad. Um, and then fluid transportation. This is probably gonna be good for Keeping stuff stocked with water. Fluid pipes. We can dye them, which I'm assuming makes them not connect to each other, so probably pretty handy. Perfect. We have a wrench. Now, does this work on. Um, like a furnace? Or is it just. Probably just. Uh, machines from this mod. It's okay. And we get a random reward. We got a cobblestone generator. Um, neat. <laughs> neat. Yeah, I think the rewards can be uh, the kind of random so you can get really good stuff um, just randomly, uh, which I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest. I prefer to sort of work towards the, the different bits and pieces I get. So, yeah. Is that how this works? That's got its own inventory. Okay, maybe I need to move that drill. I'm gonna start mining my whole base. Um, if this was here. Okay, it's got its own inventory though, so I think we'll just leave it set up. You can live there and we'll end up with a bunch of cobblestone. Neat. Um, I'm sure that will come in handy because our drill does silk touch. Sweet. Okay. That's out of the way. Do we need a fluid pipe straight away? I mean, these rotors are a little bit annoying to make. A little bit annoying to make. They're not too bad. And a couple of rotors, I think. There's everything for some fluid pipes. Neat. And now I'm curious as to what these look like in game. Very small. Very small. But, kind of cool. So it looks like there's a couple of different things we could get into. Um, cutting machine needs lubricant. So we'll give you better ratios for bolts, gears, rings, and rods. Um, now, as for lubricant, a mixer, naphtha, nap, nap, nap and redstone, or creosote and redstone. Now, creosote comes from the coke oven, which was one of the things we can make. And it kind of looks like it's one of the main quests, so 
we will say we probably want to get a coke oven at some point. Uh, so this here said this is probably the first machine you would want to build. We'll turn ingots into plates at a one to one ratio. Sure. I mean, doesn't look too bad. We're gonna have to make so many of these. Uh, <laughs> kind of would almost be nice to set up, create crafting but there's a bit of setup involved in that so I guess we'll just bulk craft for now uh, we're not quite at the point of having auto crafting I know uh, if you've watched Striker's episode he went all out and uh, fully has an applied energistic setup already going um, not not the full thing well actually I don't know it might have changed I don't know what he's been doing since then but he's getting pretty close to auto crafting which yeah slightly jealous Slightly jealous. But the macerator, yes. We need a macerator. So maybe not the compressor. Let's start with the macerator and the boiler, right? Because this is the thing that makes steam. So we definitely need one of these. Bronze tank is just plates and glass. That looks fine. But fire clay bricks. Requires fire clay dust, which is just brick dust. We can just hammer bricks and clay. Okay. Well, I can go and gather some of those materials. Yeah, I think the macerator and the boiler is going to be good for a start. And we can start uh, start processing some of our many, many ores. I'm hoping it's going to be good for diamonds. But I guess we'll find out. So, we get ourselves a bit of dust that broke the hammer that's cool definitely uh definitely looking forward to having something that does this for us so there's some brick dust we can then turn that into some fire clay dust and then so for the boiler we need that's definitely enough that's definitely enough um, we will wedge this in here. Let's stop. Stop making bricks. I don't know what else we need the fire clay for. A furnace? Okay, that's kind of cool. So that must be a slow as normal furnaces, but it uses 20 times less fuel because steam is very efficient. Cool. Sounds good to me. Uh, and then a steam blast furnace. That's going to be fire clay. Okay, so we are going to be making more of that in the future. So this is going to be getting us into steel, which again, we've got other mods in here that might let us make it easier than this. No, but I'm kind of keen to stick with this mod for now, though we probably will go and look at some of the other ones because we get a whole bunch of stuff. Like this cobblestone generator. What random reward are we going to get? A large advance pump. See, I'm picking this is... <laughs> That's why I'm not a huge fan of the random rewards giving you really advanced stuff. Because like there's absolutely no way I could make this. I don't even think I can use it for anything at the moment. Um, I kind of want like a forbidden chest of things that I'm not going to use because we're not we're not quite there yet. But here's our forbidden rewards that are just you know a little bit too generous, I think. All right, we got some fire bricks. I need the three of these. Ooh, ooh, almost steam. Yes, almost steam. I think. Nice. We have a bronze boiler. Um, I think we're pretty quickly going to run out of room in here. Uh, that possibly not the best place for that thing. Well, we're probably going to be getting rid of this contraption, right? This is not going to live here for very long. If we had our boiler. Oh, interesting. You can adjust the capacity of how much fuel it can hold. That is interesting. Uh, if we put some water in there, which means we're probably going to want an infinite water source in the house. We're definitely going to want one in the house. Here we go. Yeah, can we not? can't tip it in like that that's kind of dumb but anyway there's some water we put in some fuel 
Uh, we should have a bit of coal. Let's try some lignite. Let's try a little bit of lignite for a start. You're away. Steam. Steam is happening. <laughs> We've got. Interesting that it's so. Like, it's like a hundred and something around 80 wonths <laughs> of, of steam. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the animation. So we've got some steam happening. Uh, next, we are going to want. Well, I think we can. I think we can store steam in a tank. Um, I did see a tank. Um, if we get some more of these, uh, we grab some glass. I think it was kind of part of this recipe. We can make a bronze tank. Now, can this hold steam? And if it did, where would we want it? Like we could probably put it just there. That totally works. And then that tank's getting filled up with steam and it's kind of our a buffer of steam. Neat. Neat. Uh, I'm assuming we can use our fluid pipes. And then let's okay, let's make this macerator. Just need some fluid pipes, copper gears, and a machine casing, and a couple of diamonds, which we luckily have. Time for a little bit more fiddly crafting of some bronze components. And the last little bits and pieces for the machine casing. Nice. Um, we're getting a few extra bits and pieces because I don't I'm not real careful about what I'm making. <laughs> and then hey, a bronze made eraser. Mason, Mate Eraser? Mace Eraser. Use gunpowder to double this machine speed for two minutes. That's kind of cool. We got or hemi quadrupling. So hemi's like half quadrupling, so dub dub doubling. I'm, I'm not gonna claim I understand how that's working. Oh, you automatically got steam from the boiler. Huh. Now, if we break you, do you maintain your steam? No. Okay, that's fair. Uh, and we're probably kind of, I mean, I guess for now, we will put this here. Um, I'm probably going to want to like pipe the output into this chest. Let's test them out. On, I guess... Uh, yeah, I'm curious, do I want to fortune my diamonds, or do this, this thing? Oh, it's working. Okay, it was just a little bit slow. Do we have gunpowder? We do. <laughs> That's kind of neat that you can do that. He is pretty slow. And we got three crushed dust. And then what do we do with this? Then we have to macerate it again. Okay. And that makes diamond dust. And then wait, can we easily turn that back into diamonds? We could implosion compressor it. We could compress it into a plate. I don't think we really wanted to do this. I mean, maybe we want to make a rock cutter. This tech reborn, maybe we dive into some tech reborn, not sure yet. Uh, okay, that kind of seems like a waste. <laughs> I don't think we want to put diamond ore in there. All right, and the ore processing is happening. Um, I set up another tank, accidentally filled that one with steam, uh, and we've got this one. It kind of makes putting water into this easier. So you probably saw before, uh, we can't just right click on here to put the water in, you've kind of got to click it in here, but it's pretty easy to just, you know, right click, right click, right click, right click. And I've set the, the pipes up to only go one way. So you can right click them with a wrench and change the direction. So this only ever outputs and this only ever inputs. So we won't end up with steam coming from this back this way, which, yeah, will happen otherwise. Yeah, he's processing away. We're getting some stuff. We, we chuck that over here. And yeah, we end up with 
with processed ores. Now a steam furnace going to be on the list. Um, let's let's claim let's claim the rewards we've got. Still not sure whether or not I want to actually use them. Uh, we can probably put some like useful stuff in here. Be not a bad place or not a bad use for this backpack. We should definitely get a better backpack very soon. Um, I don't know if we just do this. There we go. Now, now we'll know that anything in here is rewards. The clay, I mean, that's fine. A tank, I mean, that's okay. We've made that. An egg sandwich. Nice. That's pretty cheap. We should get some chickens. We should get some chickens. Yeah, cool. I'm actually okay with having the bronze tank. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't automatically pipe from one to the other. Um, I don't think I'm that bothered. I don't think I'm that bothered. Yeah, no, no crazy rewards in that lot of stuff. Let's go there for now. Uh, but all right, I think... I think this is a good place to leave it. We've got some stuff happening. We're, wait, how did I... What? <laughs> how did I pick that up? That was interesting. No, I'm not quite sure. Uh, anyhow, we've got a little bit of a setup going. Things getting processed. I think we'll leave it there for now. Definitely some expansion in the future of the house because it's starting to get cramped, but uh, neat. Neat to know. So far, only one, one reward that was way too way too advanced for what we're currently dealing with still not sure what we're doing with that maybe we'll give this stuff away if people want it anyhow that'll do for now uh, it's been classy duff thanks for watching we'll come back next time and carry on through some more modern industrialization look at the description for how you can join the server see you in the next one